At 10 o'clock Monday morning, the owner of Dollar Thrift in Northeast Sacramento was getting ready to open her store. Melissa Jones says normally transient people outside her store move along when asked. Typically they're they're okay, you know, with with leaving. Um, sometimes I have to bribe them. You know, what do you need? Do you need pants? Do you need shoes? And and, and I do that. We you know this little game where we you know give them what they need and then they they're on their way. This time, Sacramento County Sheriff's deputies say they did not move along. Uh, from there, the shop owner was attacked by one of those female uh, transients that was there with an actual object that was tied to like a lanyard, uh, was actually struck with it. From there, as the shop owner's trying to fight back and get her off, another male transient subject jumps in and begins attacking her too. Luckily, Melissa's husband was there and stepped in to help her. It's like a, a full on brawl, you know what I mean? And it, believe it or not, it was just four people, us two and them two. Sheriff's deputies were able to find the suspects after they ran away. Uh, both are gonna be in custody for assault with a deadly weapon right now, so they're going to be going to jail. Even though these two were arrested, Melissa says she hopes more is done to prevent this in the future. Frustrated, you know, like to what end? You know, I'm, I'm really calling on our politicians and our congressmen and our district council um, to do something. Do something about this. A spokesperson with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department echoes the Joneses sentiment. These are not just disenfranchised folks that are, you know, displaced. Uh, they are out here committing violent crimes. They are out here in the community impacting small businesses. Uh, this is not a million dollar business. They're not turning over millions of dollars a week uh, in profit. They sell everything in here for a dollar. Um, this is the classic mom and pop family owned business. Uh, this is a husband, wife and kids working here. Uh, that's what you have. And these are the true victims here. Covering local news that matters, Riley Carroll, Fox 40 News.